Yesterday afternoon, my husband brought home half a loaf of bread from a local artisanal outlet in the San Francisco Bay Area. And the bread was based on the style of baking called tartine bread, which is also a Bay Area based artisanal bakery. And it's a very interesting style. It's a style that people rave about. Um, and this is the loaf of bread. It was a little bit bigger, so for five bucks, that's, this is what you get. And if you notice, it's, it is quite similar. And if you look at the crust, so let's look at the crust. The level of doneness in the crust is referred to in the artisanal circles as being bold. Um, tasting it, I refer to it as being burned. Uh, but people rave about it, and everybody's palate is valid. If you like hoppy IPAs or chewy tannic Napa cabs or buttery oaky Chardonnays or perhaps even progressive fourth wave coffee, this is the bread for you. Everybody's palate's valid. But one thing that I found really intriguing was the texture. So we look at the me, right? I'm going to squeeze it. So let's look at this. So I want to do a comparison. So you look at that, see how it, it's, and I'm, it's familiar, that the feel is so familiar, and I'm like, yeah, very familiar. This is a little firmer, but this is very much something that feels really good. If you like boobs, and, and who doesn't, this is also a fantastic bread just to touch. And the me is very tender, even a day later, very tender and chewy. And one thing I find interesting is that this was baked in a wood-burning oven. And being the San Francisco Bay Area, you would think they would be concerned about carbon footprint. Um, I wonder about spare the air days, if you can bake bread in a wood-burning oven on a spare the air day. Also, Bay Area people tend to be very health conscious. And with the char here, it makes me think of like carcinogens maybe? I'm not saying this bread is going to cause cancer, but Bay Area mode of thinking, it's just so paradoxical. Um, and it's a beautiful paradox living in the Bay Area. But anyway, ah, always fascinating. And to that I say cheers.